Don't you want to do something together again? I can't now. Come back in the evening, will you? How about now? Fancy a walk to the town? I can't now. Come back in the evening, will you? Have you got a moment? I'd like to ask a few questions about scallops. I don't remember much. All right. What do you want to know? How did you get me away from scallops? It wasn't easy. So Robard and his men helped load you on a wagon and we harnessed an old nag the bandits had left behind. The soldiers escorted us all the way here. God bless them. What about the bandits? So Robard and his men routed them. They killed the few, but the giant who attacked you fled, and Zibishek with him. It won't be safe in Skalitz for a while yet. Why would Zibishek do that? I never thought much of him, but banditry... He was always a nasty piece of work. It doesn't surprise me he joined them. If you knew what he did to me... Tell me. When those... Cumans, they call them... When the Cumans came, Zibishek pushed me out in front of them and fled. He sacrificed me to save his own hide. That bastard. Where's the sword I had? You had a sword? It's gone now. Those scum took everything, including your horse. I don't give a damn about the horse. I stole it anyway. But my father forged that sword for Sir Radzik. I promised father I'd take it to him. I have to get it back. Well, you can't. Just be thankful you're still alive. What happened to the other survivors from Scalitz? They sought refuge in Retay, And some of the Retay folk are none too happy about it. And Matthew, Fritz and Matthias? Johanka? Did they make it? They're alive. I heard Matthias is at the stud farm in Merhoyed. Johanka is in Sassau. And Fritz and Matthew, well... You know them. They're up to no good somewhere. The only trouble they'll be in is of their own making. What about Sir Radzig? Sir Hanush, he's the Lord of Rete. He gave his lower castle to Sir Radzig, a place called Perkstein. Sir Hanush lives at the upper castle. The Scarlet's folk have made camp in front of it. How did you get away from those Cumans? I thought I was finished. But I grabbed a dagger from one of them and... Wait. How do you know what happened to me? I don't. That's why I asked how you fled from Scalitz. No. You said with those humans. Did you see what happened? Were you there? I... I fled from the castle. I saw what was happening to you, but there were too many of them and... I... I didn't know what to do. I knew I couldn't fight them all. I'm so sorry. I understand. You made the sensible choice. No, but I, I wanted to... You don't need to say any more. Besides, I managed well enough on my own. I cut their throats. I'm sorry. I'm sure you are. I won't trouble you anymore. Let's leave it be. I'd like to know... That's all. Hey!
I'd like to discuss the price. Naturally. Agree? More. Satisfied? Well, now. A little more and we'll shake on it. Satisfied? I'd almost shake on that. Almost. See now? I knew we'd come to an agreement. God save you, Henry! Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart.
Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism at the right moment. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, it'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. You forced it and broke the lockpick. That crack could be heard in Kuttenberg. You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once.
Christ, wounds. What a fucking stink. How long have you been lying here? Nothing on the left hand. The right? Oh, shit. There's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshek will pay for this. There was a corpse in the grave, but no ring. What the fuck is going on? Easy, Hal. Hold your horses. If the ring wasn't on the corpse, the executioner must have taken it before he buried the body. Well, I can see where this is going. You want me to get the ring from the executioner? Clever lad. Only I wouldn't recommend talking to him about it. He's a bit touchy on the subject of robbing the dead. It'd be better to pinch it from his house. All right. I'll go and find that ring. It should be in a trunk somewhere in the house. And look here, Henry. Do you know how to get past a lock? Get past the lock? You mean jemmy it off with a crowbar? No, you don't. I mean the delicate, gentle art of opening it quietly and with sensitivity, like popping a young maiden's cherry. I have some experience. All right. I'm glad to hear you're not as clumsy as you look. Here's a lockpick for the job. <laughs> 